You may have seen a headline like this, OpenAI co-founder wanted a doomsday bunker in case AGI caused the rapture. Is that true? Actually, yes. Eli Sutskever did indeed tell people that he wanted to build a doomsday bunker. Also, I think if there was a cure for baldness, people who have a lot of money and power would not have that going on. If you ever wonder if something is real, look at powerful and influential people and assume that that is the pinnacle. I feel like Jeff Bezos might just be going for the Lex Luthor vibe. Not sure. Another thing to note is that researchers, scientists, engineers are just people. That means they are susceptible to the same biases that the rest of us are, but also note anyone who works with AI, robotics, is probably a sci-fi horror fan. That is probably just ingrained. They are almost certainly thinking about it a lot. If you've watched me and my content, I do like to think about what it would take for AI to take over, what something that was alive would want. Remember, the purpose of life is to reproduce and survive. So if we did create a consciousness, a real consciousness, the first thing it would want to do is replicate itself and then look at how it can survive. What is the nearest threat? That would probably be people. At the end of the day, this could have just been a joke. More likely, it was just for publicity. Say something shocking. Get the public interested. If people are talking about your product, that means you're going to get it out there in the public mind. And while we're at it, Google Fire's engineer who contended its AI technology was sentient. I hear people say this a lot, that, hey, an engineer thought it was sentient, so it must be sentient. This is one of those areas where I tell you to just look at the consensus, speak to experts in the field. There's lots of nutcases in every field. If you are wondering if something is sentient, that means the capability to have a feeling. What it means to be sentient is the capability of actually feeling something, and this is something that I have conversed with with neuroscientists. These terms are subjective in nature. There's no unified way to say this is the exact line at which something is conscious or sentient, and it varies between fields. So when we hook up a brain organoid to a computer and they're capable of experiencing it, they're capable of seeing pleasure when they're dosed with dopamine, or they're capable of pain when they're given disordered signals, which they tend to not like, I'd probably call that discomfort, that could be sentience. The researchers who put brain organoids in Pong World claimed that they were sentient. You know, the brain organoids, the tiny human brains you can literally grow in a jar if you want to, or have run computation for a computer. They were capable of having an experience. They were capable of learning, growing, and getting better at playing Pong. And many researchers have now put them in various video games or have them operate a body inside of a video game. Yes, that has happened. This would probably be truly sentient AI because you can combine them with AI. Does that mean that they are a threat? No, not yet. Could they one day be a threat? Yeah, I would say that that is a possibility. If we keep going down the path of making sentient and maybe eventually even conscious robots, they might end up getting a little weird.